Of course, in the end, it's the voters who decide who moves on, and Calvi has been declared the winner in this primary runoff race. He made the choice of the voters, and our team coverage continues now with News 4's Natalie Clydesdale, who visited with both candidates today. Natalie? Well, that's right. Calvi said he's thrilled because today's win marks the end of the David Prater era, and now his focus is on November 8th. Tonight, Calvi said he thinks people were tired of the old regime, and he thinks they are looking for a change. He says he feels there are some wrongful prosecutions being done by the current DA's office, and he doesn't want the jail to be used as a, quote, debtor's prison. He says if he wins in November, his main focus is on public safety. Meanwhile, Giger says his plans for the future are still up in the air. Putting people in jail just for missing court on a cost docket because they can't pay their fines and fees because they're poor. That's a dumb reason to put somebody in jail. It has nothing to do with public safety. Let's refocus our efforts at this office on public safety and not political vendettas. God's going to open a door and we're going to see where that door takes me and we'll see where it goes. There's still a general election and the outcome of that could very easily affect what I end up doing in the future. Now, tonight's win comes as the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation is investigating Calvi's spending, and it's not clear when that investigation will wrap up. Live in Edmond, Natalie Clydesdale, Oklahoma's News 4. Natalie, thank you. And with his win tonight, Calvi moves on to the general election where he'll face Democrat Vicki Behenna in November.